after uploading last week's video, the following day, we were followed up with a week long of rainy weather, snowy weather, rain snow mix weather, and everything else in between. With the rain coming in, projected to be raining for the next week. I didn't see a reason to keep paying for camping along the coastline state parks if I was not going to be able to get out and photograph anything. So we packed up, headed inland some to find us some free camping in a national park. Found a couple camping spots along the river. We were able to stay there for three days. After the third day, we woke up to two or three inches of snow. We didn't get to do a whole lot in those three days. Be sitting in the camper, waiting out the weather. Every now and then you get a break in the weather and as soon as you got everything on and ready to head outside, you got about 10 minutes of no rain and then rain would come again. I knew there was still going to be more rain on the way and you know high elevation you run the risk of getting into more snow so I was forced again to head back to the west coast I was able to find a spot a little bit further north along some sand dunes that people use to ride their four wheelers and all that on Obviously, it was still raining when we when we arrived. So we got everything set up. Hunker down in the camper, and then luckily later on that evening, just after sunset, there was a small break in the weather for about an hour with no rain, and luckily some nice, dramatic looking clouds filled the skies. So I was able to grab, grab a few shots. Not my favorite in the world, but they worked, and not for me to get out and do a whole lot of photography, I took the took advantage of the situation and at least get a couple photographs in the books. Harvard being cooped up for the last three or four days was pinned up a lot of energy so allowed him to get out, run around, he ran up and down the beach, just getting all of his energy out. During that time we just enjoyed ourselves without the rain, walking up and down the beach and enjoying the view for the next two days. Harvey, guess what? It's still raining. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely not the coastline. No ocean, no rocky, no rocky cliffs. The ocean is actually about a half, well, from now it's about a three quarters of a mile away. But I was just traveling so much yesterday, just trying to find a place to settle down. The sun finally came out yesterday evening. The sunset was actually lighting up the ocean side real nice, but it was getting so late and I'd yet to find find a location to camp out at so I was just I was just mentally drained I'm driving and searching all day long because absolutely everything on the coast you you have to pay for there's there's no way around it 
state parks, $38 a night for out-of-staters. <clears throat> and you can't check until 4. Got to be out of there by 1. And so you're pretty much, if you want to do anything the next day, the, it, you're kind of you're forced to pay for two nights. So now for me, I'm up around almost seventy-five dollars, and I just I just can't do that all the way up the coast. It's gonna cost me over four hundred dollars just in camping fees. So I don't know how this is gonna work out as far as a coastline, but. <clears throat> As of not being able to photograph for a whole week, this is the first day that's supposed to be sun. And starting tomorrow again, it's supposed to be more rain for the next four or five days. Possibly one day of another sun in a couple days. We'll find out. Um, but got this location last night. It's a trailhead. No sign saying, no camping. So I set up there. It was like six o'clock at night. Oh, they didn't come knock on my door. I'll leave. <laughs> Give me a ticket. I'll leave the next day. <laughs> but, uh, but yesterday I did also find a place I went to. I wanted to camp out at. Same area, kind of like this, but a lot bigger trees, a lot more moss covered trees. And it was real foggy and just a real eerie type of scene. And, but, the spot I picked out, somebody already there. So I continued up the road, it went higher and higher. And the further I went, there was more and more snow in the road. There was a horse camp up the road. Still, you gotta pay for it. But once I got there, there was like a foot, foot and a half of snow in the whole lot. And I just couldn't maneuver my way through there. And with all this rain, probably starting tomorrow, more likely that's gonna be snow. So I didn't want to get stuck up there. It was it was a shame because it was just it was just cool looking, real eerie with all these trees and fog. But traveled traveled back backtracked about 20 miles to find this spot. So and starting yesterday, I was feeling real under the weather kind of end the day but not knowing what really what the weather's going to do this coming week i got to get out i got to get at least one good shot so that's what we're doing today we're just on this trail we're gonna hike along see what we can find hopefully find something and we'll go from there i'm out and about that's all that matters so i'll see you in a bit workout so we're only about a mile probably not even that from the coastline here from where we're camping out so I decided to come down here and take long at all to get down here but another frustration another struggle all day long and that Sun was out there's clouds in the sky the whole day and then come this evening absolutely no clouds in the sky so I'm still going to take these shots because i got to get a shot. I was sitting on top of this hill back here behind me for the last like four hours waiting for that sun. I came down way early just to find uh, compositions. All along here there's compositions of all these big rocks and all that but there's with no 
no clouds, nothing going on in the sky. It's just shooting into bright sunlight. And that's why I moved down off of this hill because I was trying to shoot out towards the ocean. The sun being so bright, it's just shining big glares right in the side. And all the foreground's just real dark with bright, bright skies. So, sun's gone down some. I found this little composition here. Where's my camera? Camera set up there. And I framed it up to shoot along this rock line and it leads right into and this will lead you all the way over to that peninsula over there so that's what i'm shooting this might be the only one i take but we'll find out but after i get this shot it's probably gonna be at least two or three shots and i'll stack them just because that sky is so bright it's hard to expose for the rocks and the sky and all that but that's that's just how landscape landscape photography goes you're at the mercy of mother nature this past week has just just been something else so like i said earlier i'm i'm leaving here at least one shot it's probably not gonna be a shot for the website not the greatest in the world but i'm gonna get me a shot one way or another but the sun's still going down some more the light's getting really nice and golden now. Just really wish there was clouds in the sky. But we're going to go ahead and start shooting. I also got my trigger trigger on because I want to try to get some of these waves crashing into this, making big splashes. Um, it's another, another reason I kind of waited all day. Well, I had to wait for the sun to go down. But also with that tide coming in, bringing more waves, bigger waves to crash right into these rock faces. So let's work on this and see what we come up with. exactly came out because as I was shooting that sun starts dropping real quick with all my foreground the shadows just kept creeping further and further into the frame so I kept trying to adjust for that and then trying to get the the waves weren't really hitting the rocks like I wanted to get rid of that nice big splash but like I said earlier I haven't really got to do much here lately but Big thing, I got out, you know, enjoy the day. Earlier, we just, while we were waiting, we just, I just lay down, me and Harvey lay down in the grass and just wait for the sun to go down. But earlier, all day, I've had cold chills, so before I head out of here, took some, uh, took some cold medicine, so I'm gonna do that. When I get back, it's starting to feel a little bit better. But also, Tomorrow, we're gonna head out of that spot and we're supposed to get weather again for the next three or four days. So I think I'm gonna try to leave early tomorrow morning, come back down to this spot, and hopefully those, there'll be some clouds in the sky and hopefully not total cloud coverage. So try this spot again in the morning and see if we can come up with anything. But after that, whether I do or not, I think no idea where I'm going. I think we're just going to head north, just drive and see where we end up. But this has been a very interesting week. So hopefully I have better, hopefully I have better luck this coming week. And I'll see you next time. And... Hopefully the next video is from this next week. That's a lot better. Until then, thanks for watching. 
We'll see you in the next one.